Just now we have concluded that matter is made up of extremely small particles. Now we will be trying to find out the characteristic of the particles. The particle which made up the matter has certain characteristics. That is, the first characteristic is that particles have space between them. That is, when the particles of the matter are arranged, there lies some space between them. And that space we call as intermolecular space. Just to prove it that actually the particles have space between them, we are going to perform the activity. I have taken some amount of water. If there will be the space within the water, only then it will be able to dissolve the substance in it. Okay. So, I will take some salt and dissolve it in water. Dear friends, you can find out that this substance has completely dissolved in it. That is, the salt which we have mixed in this water has completely dissolved in it. Where has it gone? So, it proves that there must have been the space between the particles of the water where the salt has gone. So, salt gone. It has completely dissolved in the water. Shows that there is the space between the particles of matter. Second characteristic is that when the particles of matter are arranged there is the continuous motion in the particles of the matter. Now we are going to prove that the particles of matter are in continuous motion. Just now I am taking the water. I will mix the drop of ink in it. Friends, you can yourself the judge that I am not doing anything. There is no movement from my side. But still the water, the ink is dissolving in it. It shows that the particles of matter are in continuous motion. The particles of matter are in random motion and this random movement of the particle of matter we call as Brownian motion. Now the question is here that why the particles are in motion. I will keep it here and then it will tend to dissolve on its own. Question arises that why the particles are in motion. The particles of matter are in motion as they are having kinetic energy. What is kinetic energy? The energy possessed by the particle when they are in motion. Any object which is in motion has the kinetic energy. So, second characteristic has been proved that the particle of matter are in continuous motion and the reason is that the particle have kinetic energy. That is why the particles are in motion. Not. The third characteristic of the particle of matter is that particle of matter tend to diffuse. What do you mean by diffuse? It is diffusion. What is diffusion? When there is the intermixing of the particles, 
that process we call as diffusion so here we can easily prove that the particle of the matter diffuses into each other just now i will once again take the salt and mix it in water it has got mixed in water and this process we call as diffusion that is intermixing of the particle of matter 